good vibrations, the shop and the label became the nerve centre of the Northern Ireland music scene. Like the bands it signed, Good Vibes was a reaction to everything that had gone before. It wasn't run like a record company, more like a community centre where the only membership requirement was to be a punk. Things in the music business had never been done this way before. There were few contracts, no business aims, just pure, hard-edged excitement, and it was unique to Belfast. I wasn't really aware of the punk explosion in England. I wasn't even interested in that. I thought, here is something that I can identify with in Belfast. This is my hometown. Let's make a record. Let's document. And then I thought, let's put Northern Ireland back on the music map. She was mad, she looks so good. I wanna hold her, wanna hold her tight. Get teenage kicks right through the night. At the start, the, with the good vibrations, it wasn't all that big a, what do you call it, big a break. Like we were glad we had a record and all that sort of thing, but you know, we thought if it sold four or five hundred, we'd be doing a record. And then uh, the guys from Sire Records heard it and they took it, took it in a big way and then offered us the contract. So what does that mean? How will it change things for you? Uh, we have money now. Well, we have more money. You know, we were comparing Teenage Kicks to, to Buzzcocks by Old Scratch or something, you know? For us, we didn't think we were ever as good as the Buzzcocks anyway, you know, in terms of being that original or whatever. But, you know, the actual song, Teenage Kicks, wasn't even our favourite song on the EP. You know, True Confessions was. So, you know, whenever that John Peel played it twice, it was as much a shock to us as anybody. I wanna hold her, wanna hold her tight Get teenage kicks right through the night Where I uh, They'd come on the phone, they, they used to have Billy the drummer on the phone because they thought he spoke the better English, you know. And they'd come on, they'd get terribly excited and I won't... Uh, I'd do quite a good Derry accent but I won't do it for you now because it would be humiliating. But. Uh, and they used to come on and they'd shout at me and get very excited. And they just sounded like uh, good people, you know. And uh, they sent me some demo tapes, which I've still got, and uh, haven't bootlegged yet, but it's an old age pension, you know. And uh, when the record came out, when you, you sent us the record, uh, it was just like as good as anything I'd ever heard in my life, you know. And I still now, uh, however many years later, I still tell people when they ask me, you know, what is the, your favourite record of all time? That's still it. And when I did Desert Island Discs, I picked it as the one record that I would take, you know, if I was only allowed one record. She looks so good. 